As of recording this video in January 2025, GHL Community's gamification and reward system does not work properly. But don't worry, I got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna walk you step by step through how to fix your broken GHL Community's gamification and reward system. So let's jump right into it. So as of creating this video on January 28, 2025, the gamification and reward system in high level does not work seamlessly as it should. So let me show you how this should work. If I go into settings and I go to gamification and rewards, if I expand gamification, you can see that really all I can do here is just change the level names. I can't really add a reward to the different levels. Now, if I go to rewards and I click add a reward and I paste in the title, paste in the description and I click save, you can see I also cannot attach this to a level. It's just basically creating a useless reward that doesn't really do anything, okay? So let me show you how it works in school and you can see how easy this is. So if I go to classroom, and I go to the bottom of the page and click create new course and then I name the course and this is going to be a reward it can be a course doesn't have to be but this is how you set it up so this is going to be the reward and then I'm going to set it to unlock at level three and then I'm going to click add and now I have a reward that's going to unlock when somebody reaches level three okay so that's how you set it up in school now let's go to high level and see if we can do that in high level now if I go to learning and then I click add course and then I select a course that I want to add as my reward if I hover over course access you can see that I cannot change this from all members have access so that means that I can't add a reward and then set a level where it unlocks now I can make this a one-time payment but the reward system does not work as intuitively and seamlessly as it should but there is a workaround so let's show you how that works all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back over to high level I'm gonna go into memberships I'm gonna go to courses and then products then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new product, start from scratch. We're just going to do a build your own here. I'm going to name that our seven day free trial. I'm going to create the product. And then once the product is created, we need to create an offer. So I'm going to go to courses, offers, and then I am going to create an offer. I'm going to name this seven day trial to elite. I'm going to select the product, which is going to be that seven day trial to elite course that I just created. And then I'm going to type, make it the type free. And then I'm going to create that new offer. Okay. So now we have a, um, our course created. We have the offer associated with that particular course. Now I'm going to head back over to my community and I'm going to click add course. And then I'm going to select the course. So we've got our seven day free trial. Let me just refresh that. Let me see if it's in here now. Okay, so we've got our seven day trial to elite. I'm going to select that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the subscription type one time payment. And I'm going to set that to something like $50 because I don't want to set it to like $1 and people come in and then they can, you know, they see it's $1 and they want it. So they buy it. Okay. So I'm not going to, I'm going to make it something that is fairly substantial. So they don't just purchase that. Now I can't change this seven day trial. So that's kind of annoying also, but now I can add this course. And now I have a paid course in my community where people can't access it unless they purchase it. Okay. So now let's move on to the next step. All right. So before we move on to the rest of the workaround, I wanted to show you what this looks like from a user's perspective. So I've logged into a different account and now I'm a user inside of my community. If I go into the learning tab and then I try to unlock this reward that I just set up, the only way I can do that is by buying this reward. Okay. So I can click here. I can buy the course for $50. Now that's not what we want to do. We want to unlock that when me, the user reaches a certain level, let's say level three. So I'm going to show you how to set that up now. All right. So now that we have the reward set up and we've added it to our community in the learning tab, what we need to do is we need to automate the process of unlocking that reward when the user reaches a certain level. So let's say I want to unlock this reward at say level three. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an automation. So I'm going to scroll down to the left hand sidebar to automation here, and then I'm going to create a new workflow. I'm going to start from scratch and then once this is created, I'm going to click on add trigger. We're going to scroll down to the community triggers and I'm going to select community group leaderboard level changed. Okay. We're going to select the group that this is associated with. So group is demo. I'm going to add a filter and that filter is going to be level 
is level three, and then I'm gonna save it. So now, when a user reaches level three, that's gonna be our trigger, that's gonna get them in the workflow. Then I'm gonna click this action button here, and I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna to go to the membership actions, and I'm gonna click course grant offer. I'm gonna select the offer that we created earlier, and then I'm gonna save the changes. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna turn the um, workflow from draft to publish, I'm gonna click save. And now I'm going to test this workflow. All right, and then I'm going to run the test and then I'm gonna head back to the community and now I should have access to this reward. Okay, so I'm gonna refresh my page here. And now you can see it's gone from buy to open. So now I can click open. That'll take me to the reward and now I have access to that reward. So that is the workaround. It's a very convoluted way of creating gamification and rewards in your high level community. I'm sure they will fix this very soon. But as of January 2025, this is the workaround. So hope that helps. We'll see you in the next video.